Let's look at the markets first. Let's, let's take a look at uh, the S&P this morning. All right, so you know, everybody knows I've been testing uh, the uh, new system that we got coming out. Um, we're showing it in the room currently on um, multiple markets. We show it on the NQ in the upper left. The bottom is the crude oil. Um, and then we have the S&P, uh, the 20 and the 13 on the S&P. Right, let's take a look at today's action. We'll look at yesterday's action. And I want to go over how we want to look for these setups. So the new app you guys are going to be getting on your own computers. Um, let's take a look at it real quick is that you can select one of our four setups, whether it be the first wave, the slingshot, the Momo, or the failure trade. So this is an indicator that you can put on your trade, I mean, uh, not on your Ninja Trader. And then there's a strategy that emulates where these arrows fire also. So you'll see that this will come up based upon what you select. I have failure trades that come up here with an automatic arrow. You will have an alert system. You can put an alert uh, wave in there with your speakers on when these arrows fire, depending on what market you trade. So there will be an alert system. I will do a video. Start. We're, we're going to start doing videos on the strategy um, because I'm getting close to releasing the indicator and strategy. I've been uh, testing it, getting some of the errors out of it on the strategy end of it. The indicator works perfect. Fires the arrows exactly where I, where I want where I want to fire. Um, and I'll go over the strategy. We're working on the strategy right now. So we're getting close to releasing uh, the indicator and strategy to all you members. It'll be on the download page. So um, I do show them live in the room. These arrows will automatically come up. On your own computers, you will have an alert system. Like I said, if you just want to see failure trades, it will fire that. Uh, just with the toggle switch by a simple click of it. We'll go over that Friday and so on like that. What I did do is I made, you can see I got my bull and bear numbers in here. My bull and bear down below, uh, which we'll go over also uh, how you can change. But as of right now in the room, I show these that fire automatically. Right here we had a long, the last long on the S&P. was right here this morning. Uh, there was a buy signal. So we have these zones, right? Green zones are buys, red boat zones are sell. And the only counter trade we have in the room is this failure trade. It fired one there last night that the market was looking for a possible move trend change up, which it did. So this is a failure trade that fired. It's a slingshot and a slingshot to fire there also. Uh, that's the action we had today. Uh, yesterday had good action. We came into a trend change, slingshot short around 130 or 150. Action yesterday was just beautiful in the S&P. I mean, it just was absolutely on uh, fire yesterday calling these signals. 1017 was a long on the S&P yesterday. The high of that bar was 06 and 3 quarters. Ran as high as 20 and three quarters. Really big move to the upside. Uh, right after the New York Open, we had another signal that fired. This was a slingshot also. Uh, that one fired at uh, 9.35 right after the Open New York at um, 44.90. And you see it ran all the way to that 20 level. So we had over a 30-point move on the S&P on that 9.35 signal uh, that worked out quite well. So then we had you um, right after the news uh, yesterday at 8.42, uh, we had one that fired even earlier as a slingshot at 44.80. So these will fire automatically uh, on your charts for you, these arrows, depending on what four setups you want to fire. So these fire automatically in the room. If you want to view them in the room, that's what they fire. Now this is a 120 chart. 12020, that's the longest chart I have on the S&P in the room on a 12020. Beside that is a, what's called a 11313. It's a smaller Renko chart. 
Uh, these tend to have really nice failures that come up on this chart. But once again, if you look at yesterday's price action, it just had some really nice signals. I mean, if you look at uh, 930 right at the open, great one, 934, 938, all slingshots. 10, 16, it was a slingshot day yesterday. Um, and then we had the failure that started it out. The one at 847, the one thing I want you to recognize, and it happened today too, is I call this these combo trades. If you see a failure that comes in and you get a trend change, you want to look for that first slingshot up. This typically is going to be your best trade. After you see a failure, meaning an arrow comes against zone trend, which is going to show you a liquidity grab in a second, which I like to look for. I'll look for those today. I'll try to point them out today, up to 11 o'clock today, if they fire in the room. But if you get a failure trade, watch for that slingshot coming in on the S&P or the NASDAQ futures or, or crude oil. So if you get a failure trade against trend, meaning you get an arrow against trend, watch for that first arrow with trend. This typically is the largest possible move that we're looking at. Okay, so news just hit. Right now we're going into a, there's a slingshot buy, slingshot buy. Let's get these charts back up here. So what I'm talking about, when you see a failure trade come in on these longer Rinkos or shorter Rinkos, that first wave typically produces a nice move up. So just heads up on that, you know, Heads up for you guys as far as that goes. I am testing the strategy as we're making. I have it trading through news also. Here's the strategy. Let's produce, what, $275 here this morning after news. Um, so I have the strategy running currently right now. Um, I am testing it uh, as we speak. The strategy will be the same thing as the indicator. The only difference is that you're going to have uh, start stop times. Here's a start. Here's so here's start stop times, right here. All right. So you have start stop times. You have your ticks, your stop ticks, your tick targets, your ATRs. We'll go over all this. Of Friday um, I'm gonna leave this in the room today so you can see it beside the 20 this is a very small Renko chart all right so um, but you have the same thing you can only look for failure right now I have it just checked for failure trades and Momo because I'm testing the failure trade and Momo trades as we speak okay I have a kill zone switch where it says if you were long or short into that zone of eight going to eight twenty seven, it would have flattened your position into the news. I got it flattening right here if it takes a long position until after eight thirty five, then it's going to do its regular targets. So I'm going to leave this in up so you can watch it. Uh, the arrows will fire the same way on the strategy. Like I have it just trading taking trades only on volume session. Times you can see I have it trading from 7:30 in the morning to 10:30. Um, I know past performance is not indicative of future results, but just this week, here's some of the trades it's done. It's been 82% accurate uh, from 7:30 to 10:30, taking these specific slingshots, taking I'm sorry the Momo trade and failure trade together. Okay, so I know, like I said, don't read into the performance as much as the, the accuracy of the setup. But as you see, I, I, it's not taking these trades because I have it trading only 7.30, 10.30, but the error will still fire. You know, this is a failure trade that came up because I have it trading only to 10.30. So you, you can put it where, when you want it to trade also. You know, here's a failure trade, failure trade. There's a failure trade. Arrows will come up automatically on the strategy also. So you don't even have to even enter the indicator. It will fire on the strategy outside of your trading window time. Let's say you just want to trade the indicator 
uh, during that time window um, from 8.30 to, I, I have the break even switch on here, that's why you don't see runners, but um, so this is 7.30, it started taking trades 7.30 uh, yesterday morning um, all the way to 10.30, so that's what I'll do today. You, you'll see trades, it's going to start happening from 7.30 to 10.30. I'm going to let this run just so you can see how, that, how it works a little bit. This is a very small Renko size. It's a 12, 1, 12, 12. Very small Renko size for you guys to... Uh, To look at so I'll just put this up here in the upper corner so you can just see how it works so the failure trade I, I want to go over something here in the failure trade so you got the S&P that I showed 23 out 24 hours a day here and this is a failure trade so what a failure trade is before we shut this off Gerald what a failure trade is guys it's just a gain zone trend so you're going to see that arrow that automatically fires. Now, you can have a strategy do this also if you wanted. If you had this Rinko size up in 113.13, it would have fired you short here. Or the indicator, you can let it fire with the audible alert on your computer. So now what we're going to look for, the next trade setup we're going to look for is a slingshot. I want this small oscillator to come up, get above 80, and shoot back down through my bull of 40. And you're going to see an arrow that automatically fires. And what it will do, it will, it will put that on your, um, it will put that on your uh, 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 speakers also, just like crude oil today. Crude oil just fired. I'm watching crude this morning. That is a failure trade. It got short here at 8:3206, at 77.74. The low already is 58. So it had a 15 tick move already down on crude oil this morning on my failure trade. So I'm going to show you members how you can look for what's called a, um, a trap trade. I love these trap trades. When you get this on your own system, I love these trap trades on these smaller Renko sizes, especially the 12, 13 Renko chart or what have you. So <clears throat> here's a failure trade that happened on the NQ right there. I'm going to show you a combination that I like. And this combination is pretty special. So if you get a failure trade and you go right into a slingshot, that means you have a potential move coming in the market. What I mean by that is this, why the video is running. Let's say you don't want to take failure trades. And you just want to take trades with trend. I absolutely love when this happens in the setup. Now this is on the small wrinkle also. This is a 115.15 on the crude oil. I do that on the S&P and the NASDAQ, but I love this combination. Let's say you just want to take trades with trend, but you want the failure trade to set it up to get a liquidity grab. What a liquidity grab is, is when you get a failure trade, you set a higher high, but it's a failure failure. It takes a low of that failure out. What they're doing is they're, they're grabbing liquidity and they're trying to drive price down and taking all of the buy stops below you and you typically see some major energy in the market and this is just crude oil this is major this happened last night major energy in the market like this it happens on all markets now these are all slingshot trades where the arrow automatically fired let me find a liquidity grab here's liquidity grab again so let's say you just want to trade with trend and you want to trade failure trades you can still use the failure to set yourself up for success so these are all with trend trend you know, slingshot, 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 above 80, back down through my threshold. These are all fired automatically on the indicator. But I love this combination. Let's say you just want to trade with trend. Let the failure trade come up and wait for the first slingshot that comes up. Price goes right in that direction. As long as the failure doesn't break the low end of the zone and get a trend change, you got a possible liquidity grab for a push up. Now this happens on all markets. That's a failure trade. That's just a straight failure. But I'll show you on, let's get a more volatile market. I want to show you this.
I'll show you more volatile market. Uh, I'll show you how it works on the NQ also. The strategy is short on the, on the, uh, with this failure trade on the uh, S&P right now. It just said its first target's off. I'll, I'll let the strategy run up here for you guys from 7.30 to 10.30 so you can see how it works. But that's a failure trade it's in right now. It just got its first targets off. So right now it's up uh, just from 7.30. This is a strategy running right here. Now remember, past results is not indicative of future results. I'm not saying these are the best settings. You may find better settings, better targets. You guys can adjust them. I'm just showing you this is a 12 sim Renko running the failure trade and the Momo trade together. So that's just this morning on the large S&P from 7.30. I'll let this run to 10.30, and then we'll look at results at 10.30. I'll start running that in the morning for you. But let's take a look at the um, – so we had a nice failure trade that worked here. This is strategy that's running. I want to show you this liquidity grab real quick so you understand when you see it fire in the room. I love this setup, man. This setup – liquidity grabs are so great because you're catching the wrongly positioned traders. Let me find one that comes up. During session hours here, liquidity grab. Okay, so here's here's a liquidity. Where are you at? Here's one. So I love the liquidity grabs, especially when you don't break the outer zone. If you see this come up, you should you should typically let your runners run. In other words, if I see a failure trade that comes above the zone. Okay, if I see it coming above the zone, meaning we're trending hard up, right? Had a lot of these set up yesterday on the NQ and the S&P. S&P had some beautiful ones. If you see this, where well, you get a failure trade and it rolls right into a slingshot, meaning arrow fires here, watch these buy stops. Well, this would be the sell stops are gonna, uh, these would be the buy stops coming, I'm sorry. If it's shorting, it'd be bell stops. I mean. Uh, sell stops but notice a liquidity grab they'll bring it a lower low then they'll break the high of that failure trade if that happens watch for price to follow through because you got all these buy stops above you from the high all right watch the energy that happens when this comes up here it is again this is actually the opposite where you got it into a it happens the other way too where the liquidity grab to the other side this is a slingshot into a failure but I like the failure into the slingshot the best here we go if you see a failure that comes outside of the zone meaning above the zone and it goes right into a slingshot this could be a major possible move in the market it happens on a daily basis on the NQ S&P had happened quite a bit yesterday also no another liquidity grab Liquidity grab, failure. Now this is a small Rinko size. I like them on the smaller Rinko size. This is a 115.15 on NQ because they come up uh, literally around the clock. So when you get this on your own system, this may be just one setup you want to cherry pick and watch for because you're catching wrongly positioned traders getting trapped with a liquidity grab. Right here's a liquidity grab also here. Also, you can literally wait for a failure trade to go against trend and go right into a liquidity grab slingshot because what they're doing is it sets a higher high I'm sorry when this liquidity grab was set a higher high but then it broke the the low for the uh, for the move where was another one here here's a perfect one this is a perfect setup on liquidity grab this is a better example you get a failure trade on these smaller Renko sizes right the sand is shorted, but then it takes out the high on the failure with a slingshot and watch its price just take off. It's like this all morning and afternoon on these smaller Renko sizes. You get a lot of liquidity grabs. Here's another liquidity grab. You get that. This is in the afternoon yesterday on the NQ. They take out those buy stops and they just price just takes off. So I want to show you how to do that on your own charts. You may just want to cherry pick these because it, it lets you know when in the market 
that you have a possible major possible move coming. And these are not small moves, guys. With, uh, this is a small Rinko size. This is a very small Rinko size, but the moves are quite nice that this uh, likes to produce because you're catching, this would be the sell stop sitting, you know, so, you know, just a nice little way to do it when you see a liquidity grab, you know, when you see opposite. I like looking for that as far as that goes. As far as this goes, if, if you're trading this on your own computer today off the 115.15, after the news at 10, this is a slingshot that happened, slingshot, slingshot. My strategy, that's what it's produced so far. Now, remember, don't, we are in an educational room, okay? I'm not telling you this is exact settings you want to use when you get this thing. I don't have the perfect settings for you. And, and say, do you have to use this Rinko size? You know, this is a 115.15 chart. You have to use my targets. You have to use this. No, we're not saying that. We're saying, look at the accuracy of the system, okay, with these four setups. So this is the one that happened, as uh, shown in the room here. This is the trades it's taken so far. So if I go live and I go real time. So look at the percent profitable because news came out. I let it trade through news. So that's why the percentage profitability was off at that level. The max drawdown was 200. Look at your, look at your profit factor, though, four. Nice total net profit because it got this nice trade here on the, as far as this one goes. So uh, you can, this was looking, this is a Momo trade that it took, right? Momo, Momo, this was in the kill switch area, so that's why it got out, or it hold this, if you had the kill switch off, it would hold that short. But you can watch these trades that come up, um, Watch your trades come up. I'll let I'll let th let this be up there running this morning till 10:30. I'll, I'll let, run this all week. I'll show you how it runs. But you can see what's neat about the failure trades here. Pretty cool. Failure caught that 10:31. Now we're looking for a slingshot short, looking for a retracement, and we're looking uh, to roll back down. All right. So we'll be looking for, like I said, we'll be. Um, I'm testing the strategy right now for you. We're going to get the indicator strategy on the download page. This is one of two programs you're going to be getting. Um, thank you, Phil, for helping me out. We have a member testing this software out, too, for any possible errors or anything like that uh, on the indicator software. Uh, I appreciate Phil helping me out, long-term member. We also have the faster, uh, I mean, the um, stronger, weaker position when the uh, STO gets buried at 100 and zero. So you will not only have the indicator strategy on our four setups, we're going to release another strategy for you that is uh, strictly for momentum. Um, we're actually doing that one. Uh, Phil and I is working on that as we speak. So this looks like it's going to be released first uh, because of I've, I've been working with um, the programmer on this specific indicator and strategy of the four setups and it seems to be running real well. So uh, I'm at the, almost at the end of my testing as far as this goes. I'm just making sure this thing is filling correctly. I'm making sure that the that everything is working correctly on it, and uh, and then we'll get that on the download page. And then I'll, I'll put my default settings in, like we have now, like these failure trades and so on come up and slingshots. But you can change those to make these zeros come sooner if you want or later on the slingshots. I'll show you how to do that also. So that's something that we'll do. Um, in other words, if you just wanted like the crude oil today. Um, this is only two arrows that it's produced this morning because what I have in here, I have the failure trade and the slingshot only showing up on this right now because what I'm doing is on this chart this morning, I'm only looking for slingshots and I'm looking for slingshots and um, so this is 115.15. I'm looking, looking for slingshots and failure trades. So you can see the NQ, these are fired on your computers, produce some nice results here this morning so far. This is a 115 chart, 115, 15 chart. I'm running the default slingshot and the default failure trade. I'm testing this combination on the NQ. 
I'm running the same thing. The default slingshot, the default failure trade, it's produced one, two, three, four big sales, two big failure trades. And this is a smaller Rinko size, okay? This is a smaller Rinko size.